In order to tell you about the mechanism on which I'm working, anti-valor RNA interference, I will start with a story. Imagine that an alien crashes his ship on a planet. His goal is to attack other planets, to conquer the universe. But for this, he needs a new ship. He can sell the resources of his new planet, but he also needs an instruction manual to build the pieces and put them together. This is similar to what a virus needs to do. The virus enters a cell and needs to produce new viral particles. We call that the viral replication. It will steal some materials from the host cell to produce the proteins or building blocks of the new viral particles. Importantly, it also needs a manual full of instructions. We call that the viral genome. In our story, there are some inhabitants on the planets, and especially a group of soldiers. Each time an alien arrives to their planet, they take his alien instruction manual and tear it into pieces. Without this, the alien is incapable of building his ship and cannot continue his conquest of the universe. This strategy is used by many organisms, like insects and plants, and is called RNA interference. When a virus enters the cell of a fruit fly, it will produce something called double-strand RNA as part of the viral replication. This would correspond to the alien instruction manual. And here, our soldiers are three cellular proteins called DICER2, RTD2, and AGO2. DICER2 recognizes the viral RNA, cuts it into pieces, and, helped by RTD2, gives them to AGO2. AGO2 is like a soldier specialized in tearing nodes apart. It will use the piece of RNA to recognize similar RNAs and destroy them so that the virus can no longer replicate. 